Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 Blueprint tutorial. Um, in this video, what we're going to be talking about is something called uh, config variables or configuration variables. And uh, basically, uh, a configuration variable just allows you to place your variable within the default engine INI uh, file within your project so that when you actually package and cook your game, you can have certain variables be certain values for that build. So, as an example of a use case that I've used in my own projects is um, for one of the projects I'm working on, uh, we want to release certain types of builds to certain people. So maybe we want some people to have access to like the multiplayer, or if you want people to have access to the single player, or not have access to certain menus. Uh, we use configuration variables, um, and I've used them for booleans to whether or not let these things be accessible through the menu in the UI. So if I set it to true in the configuration, you'll have access to that menu option. If I say false, then you won't. And when we cook, we have a package build and we have those settings. So it's a cool, quick way, instead of having to go into the blueprint itself, having to change it, recompile, and then build, you could just set the variable within the default engine I and I, and uh, you set the, the variable to whatever you want. Uh, so that's what I'm going to show you today. Uh, very simple. Uh, examples, just basically changing variables uh, through the configuration file, nothing too extravagant, but it'll get you to get the point across so you guys understand how it would work uh, for your own project. Uh, so for this video I'm using uh, Unreal Engine 4.15.1. Uh, I've just created a project uh, with starter content. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I used any templates or anything like that, it's just a bare bone project. And all I've made is my own uh, game mode and my own player controller and in my player controller uh, I add the widget that I'm going to be using for this example and I just add it uh, to the viewport and just make sure your game mode is set in the menu or I'm sorry in the level that you're working with in the world settings here so BB game mode and it has my player controller and the UI itself super super simple all I have here is a te uh, basically just a, a text block I gave it a variable name, config variable text, made it a variable here, just so we have access to it. Um, so what we're going to do is on construct, <clears throat> we're going to set the text, and I'm going to give two variable examples, or maybe we can do uh, a couple different ones, who knows. Wow. Let's start off with some simple ones. I'm going to start off with an integer and a text variable. So first I'm going to use format, because you know, you, formatting text is always the way to go because you can use these curly braces, put in names, and uh, basically gives you uh, variable pins for it. Uh, so the first one's going to say text, then I'm going to use the vertical line here. I forget what the name of that is, but then I'm going to use uh, integer. So now I have these two pins. They're wild cards. I'm going to create two variables. Uh, one's going to be an integer. And I'll just call it number. No, I'll just call it integer. Let's see if we can get away with that. And the other one, it's going to be a text. And we'll call it text. Now, uh, next we're going to get them and plug them in. And we can set some default values for them as well. <clears throat> so for integer, we can make this 2. And for text, we can just make this say. Why is it not letting me see that? <laughs> this is acting with, there we go. Hide that. We'll just say hello. So now when we play, this is hello and then number two. That's all we have. Uh, so what we can do is, you might have saw it when I had this open. You can go to show advanced, right? And there's a config variable. Set that to true. Now you're not done yet. You have to. Uh, I'm not sure if you're able to easily copy this or not. <laughs> but when you hover over config variable, you're going to get some information at the bottom here. It says config file, tells you where your default engine I and I file is, and then it tells you config section. You basically have to place this into this section into your default engine I and I uh, file. Um, so I usually like to just take a screen cap of it. Because uh, I don't know of a way to easily just copy that. So let's 
finishes. Crop that. I'm going to put this on the side so you guys don't have to see that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up in here. I got my it's I have a, my project, I have the project in there. Go to config, default engine I and I. And you're going to get something like this. It may be different just depending on uh, what it is your project's like so far. Since I'm using a bare bone project, nothing really big in here. And we basically got to put in uh, that uh, config section. So it has open start brackets. It always starts with forward slash game, and then it's basically the directory. So mine's starter content, widgets, bp underscore ui underscore random text dot bp underscore ui underscore random text underscore c uh, so basically the format is your directory the then finally the name of the file and then dot the name of the file underscore c and now we could do something like this text equals um, devin is awesome and integer equals 100 so now uh, we can compile and we gotta make sure that both of them are config variables. So again this is what it would look like. You got your section and then you got your variables and you can put them as any value you want. And I believe for text uh, you we don't even need these uh, parentheses. So you could just write Devin is awesome or whatever you want. And then we can compile. What we're gonna notice is when we play it still says hello and then number two. The reason is because we have to do either a standalone game or package the game to see this change. So if we do a standalone game, we have Devin is awesome and 100. And you can do this with a lot of variables. I think you can do it with well, pretty much any variable you want. Uh, so say we want to do, I don't know, let's just do a different kind of variable. Um, what else can we even do? I don't know. We'll do a float. We'll let its default value be 1.2 or 1.5. Make it a config variable. Add a line in here for it. Oops. Plug it in. Now if we just play a new editor window, we got 1.5 in there. But now if we go into our config, uh, in our default engine I and I, we can do float equals, I don't know, 5,000.222. And then we can do standalone game again. And it should show it. Okay, so it's not showing it. So that means I did something wrong. Does it have a problem? Let's just make it 1.9 instead. Let's see if it says 1.9 instead of 1.5. Hmm, it still says 1.5, so I'm kind of curious if floats actually can be used like that. Hmm. Let's try it one more time. I think that's all right. Okay, let's just try one more time. If it doesn't work, then maybe floats don't work. But they should. Maybe I'm messing something up. There we go. What the hell did I do differently? <laughs> uh, maybe it just needed to be recompiled. So let's try that 5,000 again. 
That's a ridiculous number. There we go. Okay. So it looked like I may have had to recompile my blueprint for whatever reason. It didn't refresh like I needed to get it to. But now you guys have the uh, basic idea. So you basically, you can do this in any uh, any kind of blueprint. Uh, I just use U, uh, UMG a lot. So I just use this as this example because uh, maybe in your player controller, for example, you want to disable some sort of your player of abilities. Like you say you don't want people to be able to do a double jump or something uh, in a demo. You can set a boolean, say you know, allow double jump, put a config session in your default INI, say true or false, and you have the functionality you need when you package it up and send it over. Um, so you could do it with booleans, floats, text, integers. I believe you could do it with, I'll say almost every variable, just in case there's maybe one or two you can't do it with. But I found it to be very useful. Uh, I, ne I didn't realize you could do this. Um, so I thought I would make a tutorial on it, show you guys how to do it briefly. Uh, so let me know what your thoughts are, are, are on this tutorial. Let me know if you thought the information was useful. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed the content. And feel free to check out some more of my uh, Unreal Engine 4 tutorials here linked now. Um, and until next time, uh, see ya. Just hold on, we're going home. Just hold on.